it'll go faster. I'm just scared to go anymore with it. It still goes a lot faster. No, I'm not going anymore. Uh -huh. Alrighty mate, that should do. We give it a go. We could try it out. Maybe maybe we can get some good wind. Yeah, some good wind you see. <clears throat> Let's see. I know I got some in here somewhere. Where is it at? Uh in there. Maybe this one. Yeah, she's been... Oh, oh no, oh no. Yeah, she spins freely, mate. She spins freely, mate. That's what we want. That's what we want. It's even got a cool rim around it. What you say, mate? You make it a ceiling fan. What do you think? That is intense. Okay, well that was test number one with the hoverboard uh, motor and that thing is intense! Holy cow, did you see that? That thing spins like 900 mile an hour. Um, man, y'all think I should put a propeller on this? Leave your comments. If you think I should put a propeller on this, then let's, uh, maybe we'll do that. Hold on.
you look at that? That's a propeller. Ooh. Very nice. Man. I bet it would turn it. Did you see the freaking speed on that thing? Wow. Let's run it up again. You ready? Up close and personal this time. Jeez, that thing is vicious when it starts. And this is not even the top speed. This thing will keep going and going and going. I'm just scared to go any further with it. I'm afraid the whole thing's gonna come apart. Wow! Now this is a completely unmodified hoverboard layer. No modifications to it whatsoever. And I'm not even using the hall sensors. No hall sensors. I'll show you here. Whoa! Hall sensors are not even hooked up directly to the motor controller. It'll go faster. I'm just scared to go anymore with it. It still goes a lot faster. No, I'm not going anymore. Jeez, I bet this thing would work with the propeller on. That is completely badass. just with this little tiny prop on it. Imagine a big prop. Now see, when I first tested the hoverboard motor on this motor controller, I wasn't sure if uh, it was gonna be able to spin it at that RPMs with the load on it. And this is the first load that I've put on a hoverboard motor on this motor controller. And so far, it has no hesitation whatsoever. So what do you think? Should I try a bigger prop? A bigger fan blade? Maybe so. What about something like this? Think that'll generate more air? Maybe so. Let's try it. You think so? Let's do it. Completely variable speed. I mean, 100% any speed you want. That sounds so sick. Surprisingly balanced, by the way. I did that. And it will just keep going and going and going. I think it'll go until the dang thing comes apart. Zara, you're in a bad spot, girl. It just keeps going faster and faster. I'm not going anymore. Wow!
Imagine that on a trolling motor. Or hell, a, a full-size motor. Wonder if we could put a prop on it and put it right under water. Hoverboard motors are pretty sealed. Just take it apart and put some more sealing on it? Man, imagine if we put this thing in the water. The, the whole prop and everything. I bet that would work good. That thing looks like a boat prop, kinda. Huh. There will be more videos to come with this. This is just something that I 3D printed right here. This is just something I 3D printed and stuck on there where the old original tire used to go to try and give it some kind of aerodynamics or something. I mean, it's got a little curvature here, if you see, but I don't think it's doing anything, but it was just something to make it look cooler. And uh, I 3D printed it to originally to make a one wheel out of two hoverboard motors. And uh, this was already on here. And um, I stuck, I left it on here to maybe give it some aerodynamic effect. But don't know if it did. But anyway, it makes it look cool anyway. But this is just a regular stock hoverboard motor. No modifications to it. Here is your wires for your hall sensors, which are not hooked up. And this is just the part of the hoverboard that had the mount on it, and I literally cut it off. Just snipped it off. Well, not snipped, but I cut it off. And I stuck it in my little mini vise here from Home Depot and clamped it onto this here box and it tested her out. You could see the little frillies back there on my cat's toy. Um, they were moving pretty good. This thing really puts off some wind. So... As for the question, can we make a fan out of a hoverboard motor? The answer is absolutely. Yes, sir. And this is not off battery power, by the way, as most would think it would be, but it's not. This is actually plugged into the wall. Over there, you can see my plug plugged into the wall. And then here is the magic of the story. Oh, let me see the wire coming up. Here we go. And the magic. Dun, dun, dun. This is it. This this is the ultimate controller to do this with. And so now the question is, can we put this on an aircraft if I use a 12 volt battery and in inverter, or maybe a 48 volt battery and an inverter to give me 120 volts, or we can have an input all the way to 230 volts single phase um, and it says that it's a maximum power of 1100 watts which I don't care that thing has insane RPMs range of speed here we go look at this range of speed 100 to 10,000 RPMs that is not a lie. That is not a lie. This thing will put out some RPMs, and it's insane. As you can see, I just soldered my wires on because I got tired of the little thingies coming out. Um, my hall sensor plug is missing because I don't even use it. Uh, it's missing, and then this is for variable other functions on this controller. And you can do just about anything with this controller. You can set it up to run with a potentiometer. You can set it up to run with a wireless remote. You can set it up to run anyway. And this gives you all kind of readings. I mean, uh, if you look up this controller, these controllers are pretty, pretty badass. Um, excuse my French, but pretty freaking badass. And this is a little debugger thing that uh, you have to order separate, so be careful. Some of them come with it, so if you order this controller, make sure you get this that comes with it. Um, or you'll have to order it separate. It's the ZMBL01, and then the controller is the ZM7205A. They have variable different versions of this controller, and they've got bigger ones. But I think right now I want to order probably four... I want to have a total of four of these exact controllers, and I'm going to make a big-ass drone with these motors. With just regular stock hoverboard motors. Maybe even use the plastic ones to cut down on weight. 
Um, I think they'll hold together pretty good. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I'll have to test and see when, 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 when one actually fails, if I can make it fail. Um, but I, I'd be curious to know. So, what are we going to do next? Should I put the other fan blade on? I think we should. See if we can get some more wind off this thing. This just came off the little fan I showed you earlier. And what I did here is I drilled a hole directly center of the hoverboard uh, uh, housing. And then I actually drilled into the shaft um, in the center because the shaft comes out here and then it goes into a bearing on the other side. And I drilled a hole right into the middle of the shaft so that way the, the, the bolt on the other side would not hit the shaft because um, it's right in the center and then I actually had to round off the bolt so that way everything will fit and I'll take this apart and I'll show you probably in the next video but right now I just want to see this thing in action so let's put another blade on what do you say let's do it one more time Wow! And it will go faster than that, guys. Holy crap! Wow! Nine hundred and eight RPM. That was what we got. And it just freaking exploded. Huh. 
It just exploded this plastic probe. That was freaking insane. Did that hit the TV? Oh, that would have been so bad. I don't think it did. I think it smacked my other prop, though. Think no damage. Thank God. Well, that was absolutely freaking insane. That was uh, almost 1,500 RPM. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, that was exciting. Luckily, no damage was caused. Uh, nothing broken. I'm a little scared to test the TV. I haven't tested it yet. But we accomplished uh, 1,333 RPM. Um, so almost 1,500 RPM. Uh, that's insane. For a hoverboard motor, I don't think I've seen anyone accomplish that kind of RPMs on a hoverboard motor on a hoverboard motor ever before. Um, so this controller is definitely something to look into. Really excited about the projects to come. We exploded a plastic prop. Um, won't be going back with plastic. But if you want me to put this bad boy on there, leave your comments and let me know. Um, it might be my next project. I think uh, that would be a lot of fun. And who knows, maybe we can even build some aircrafts out of these motors with these controllers. Uh, we would just have to implement an inverter and uh, some batteries. Uh, I think what I'm gonna be looking for is a 48 volt, maybe 2000 watt small inverter. If anybody knows where one is or knows how to find one, please uh, leave that in the comments. I would be grateful for that um, because I think I'm going to be trying to build something that can be mobile and not have to be plugged into the wall but still utilize these controllers because these controllers are just beyond uh, what I've ever seen any other controller accomplish before so uh, I would like to stick with them if at all possible but wow that was cool um, to all my subscribers thank you so much for tuning in and for everybody else that tuned in, thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel. I would greatly appreciate that. And uh, it helps me out a lot. And hope to see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. Oh.